Hi everybody, hope you're well. This video was requested by Justina1134. So this is going to be about what is karma. So if you want to see your own karma, you can go up to the little cog wheel on the right top right hand side of the screen. Click on that, that'll take you to your account and then you can click on my karma, which the button for my karma is usually around here. So your karma is basically your in-game reputation and you can view people's karma if they go on their page. So it's always here under their last visit. So basically this dictates your reputation in terms of have you followed the rules and things like that. So essentially it is how people look at how well you have done in following the rules of the game. There's a lot of ways to break the rules of the game so if we go back to this page I'll have a look at them. So basically there's two things you can do. You can lose karma or you can earn it back. So Losing karma, you could put inappropriate images or comments, so being rude and stuff, posting images that are offensive and not suitable for this site. Cheating, which is like stealing things, trying to get people's passwords, stealing accounts, trapping accounts and items uh, as well. Now if you haven't seen my item and past trafficking video, that's the perfect way to lose karma, <laughs> really, now. That came in October last year, so 2014. It didn't used to be the case, it used to be the case that it wasn't really a big deal, but a lot of scams were coming in and they wanted to clamp down on it, so that emerged. Um, behaviours towards others, so that's basically being aggressive or insulting and not being nice. Also, you can get in trouble for um, trying to impersonate other people, so identity theft, essentially. Uh, defamation is basically where you're being nasty about someone, so speaking ill of someone. I mean there are plenty of cases I have seen of players who have been scammed by a player. They put on the person's name on their page saying player XYZ scammed me, okay for example, and somebody reports the page because they are basically naming and shaming and naming and shaming you can get trouble for. Even if that person is the worst most evil scammer in the world, you're not allowed to basically put it on your page. And I understand why, but at the same time I know it's frustrating because you're like, this person scammed me, I feel like I should be able to warn other people. But really, I kind of understand why they have this rule because if you think about it, if somebody was not very honest and they just wanted to say that somebody scammed them and they haven't or, you know, hurt the, that person's reputation, then they might put that on their page even though the person never scammed them. So I can understand why that's a rule, but it's kind of frustrating whenever you've actually been scammed. So, um, copyright infringement, so theft of creations, this is basically, if you submit something to the creation space that is a photograph, a stolen image, another person's creation, not your own, you get in serious trouble there. Um, specific rules, so disrespect of forum rules, private messaging, so being, as you can see, if you go in to the forums, and let's just go into Gameplay for example, and check forum rules. There's loads of rules there that you could potentially break. So you, you can go read those, I'm not going to read them um, for the moment. So we'll just go back to this page now. There we go. And then private messaging rules. So as you know, don't ask for people for passwords, don't send them advertising messages, chain mail, so forth. You get in so much trouble for that. So. And as I've said, this list is not exhaustive. So basically, you could do something that there maybe isn't a specific rule already on the site for, and you might be the first one to do it, and they decide that it's not appropriate, then they can essentially get, you can get in trouble for it, possibly lose karma. So the reason that karma is here is because karma affects your access to community features, okay? So five, or sorry, six points, if you lose four points of karma, okay, you have 10 karma, you lose four, you've got six. All forum access, page customization, item donations, item exchanges are disabled. So you can't do any of that. If you were to lose six points and you go on four points, you would lose access to the seals and the proposing creations. So basically you wouldn't be able to buy horses and you wouldn't be able to upload anything to the Black Pearl. If you lost eight points, you would have a loss of access to private messaging. Now you can get short term bans on the forums for swearing, for example. You can also get short term bans from your messaging private messaging, um, if you break rules there, as far as I remember, I have seen people get like 24 hour balance or maybe longer, and then zero points, that's a two month ban from the game. If you lose five points of karma, you get a one month ban, 
um, zero points, you get a two-month ban, so that's 60 days. Now, obviously, once you lose karma, you can earn it back. So, but you have to wait 30 days. So every 30 days since you lost karma, if as long as you behave during that time, you get one karma back. So you slowly go back up to 10 karma. So that is essentially why karma is there. Karma is there because, for example, you might, somebody might have sent you a message saying, I'd like to, you know, swap this item for this horse. You might look at their karma and go, they're on, you know, sick karma. Maybe I shouldn't do this. Maybe this person isn't trustworthy. And to begin with the trade, you can't actually do because if you see an item in past traffic video, you'll see why. So... Looking at karma can give you an idea of how this person behaves on the game to a degree. I mean, obviously, sometimes people do stupid things. Like, I remember years and years and years ago when I first played an international, somebody sent me a chain mail. And I had no concept at the time that you weren't supposed to send chain mail. So I took the chain mail and I forwarded it on to some of my friends. Then one of my friends, quite rightly, reported me for sending the chain mail to them. So I actually got, I think it was a 24 hour ban on my PMs. And I was like panicking because I didn't understand what I'd done at the time. And boy, did I learn my lesson. I was just like, okay, I learned my lesson. So I apologized to them all afterwards. And I realized that I went, went and I looked at the rules and I read it and I went, oh, okay, you're not allowed to send chain mail. I understand now. But the person who actually sent me the chain mail never got reported, which to this day still irritates me a bit, but you know, it's just one of those things. So you need to be very careful. You could not just, I at the time didn't think, didn't think to question it because you get chain mail and emails all the time and stuff like that. So those are some things that you want to think about. Um, you know, if you're purposely trying to lose your karma, you'd probably just be better deleting your account because I don't understand why. But if you don't want to lose karma, go read the rules. That is the simplest way for me to explain. And if there's rules that you don't understand, question them. Ask questions about those rules so you can understand why. And it's, um, there are rules there. Most of the rules there that I have seen are there to protect people. And even though some of them don't feel completely fair, like I said, I was explaining that one there that, you know, um, naming and shaming a player who's maybe scammed you, you know, you get in trouble for that, even if that person had scammed you, but if that person hadn't scammed you, you were just dishonest, you just wanted to be nasty to this person, I can totally see why that's a rule that you're not allowed to name and shame for that reason. So, um, that's really all I can think of. If you have any questions, you can feel free to send them on. So, thank you to Justina1134 for requesting the video, and hope you love your day. Bye, guys.